the Embraer EMB314 Super Tucano, also named ALX or A29, is a Brazilian turboprop light attack aircraft designed and built by Embraer as a development of the Embraer EMB312 Tucano. The A29 Super Tucano carries a wide variety of weapons, including precision-guided munitions, and was designed to be a low-cost system operated in low-threat environments. The Philippines considered the acquisition of six Super Tucano aircraft to replace the aging Philippine Air Force OV-10 Bronco. In June 2012, Department of National Defense Secretary Voltaire Gasman was said to be looking for a government-to-government -government procurement deal with Brazil to acquire the Super Tucanos. On June 20, 2012, the Department of National Defense reported that a total of six Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucanos will be acquired for PHP 4.968 billion. In October 2017, the Department of National Defense announced it was close to signing a contract with Embraer for six Super Tucano aircraft with options for more. On December 1, 2017, Embraer announced a firm order for 6A29 Super Tucano light attack and training aircraft from the Philippines Air Force PAF. Philippine Air Force 6 aircraft on order, with an option for 18 more to be assigned to the 15th Strike Wing. Deliveries will commence in 2019. During the mid-1980s, Embraer was working on the short Tucano alongside a new version designed EMB312G1, carrying the same Garrett engine. It researched a helicopter attack version designated Helicopter Killer or EMB312H. A proof-of-concept prototype flew for the first time in September 1991. The second prototype flew for the first time in May 1993 and the third prototype flew in October 1993. The aircraft differs from the baseline EMB312 Tucano trainer aircraft in several respects. It is powered by a more powerful 1,200 kilowatts, has a strength in airframe to sustain higher G loads and increase fatigue life to 18,000-2,000 hours in operational environments. A reinforced landing gear to handle greater takeoff weights and heavier stores load, up to 1,550 kilograms. Kevlar armor protection. Two internal wing-mounted .50 calorie machine guns with 200 rounds of ammunition each. Capacity to carry various ordnance on five weapon hardpoints including jet NC6 21-20mm cannon pods, MK-81 80-seconds bombs, MAA-1 Piranha air-to-air -air missiles AAMs, BLG-252 cluster bombs, and SBAT-70 19th or LAU-68Rs per gram rocket pods on its underwing stations and has a night vision goggle compatible glass cockpit with hands-on throttle and stick controls. Provision for a data link, a video camera and recorder, an embedded mission planning capability, forward-looking infrared, chaff flare dispensers, missile approach warning receiver systems and radar warning receivers, and zero-zero ejection seats. The structure is corrosion protected and the side hinged canopy has a windshield able to withstand bird strike impacts up to 500 km per hour 270 kn. On October 13, 2010, the Super Tucano A29B had passed the mark of 48,000 hours. In 2012, Boeing Defense, Space and Security was selected to integrate the Joint Direct Attack Munition and Small Diameter Bomb to the Super Tucano. In 2013, Embraer Defense and Security disclosed that its subsidiary, ORBISAT, was developing a new radar for the Super Tucano. A Colombian general disclosed that the side-looking airborne radar will be able to locate ground targets, smaller than a car, with digital precision, 